About the three stock of diamond. Stock the diamond, boys. Oh, I feel good. This guy's really good. Woo. All right, what's up, fellow holics? This is MVP here. Um, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, uh, mainly because I got to stay under 10 minutes. But um, basically, this is a diamond player that I met in Experimental. Um, when we first met and we played, he beat me, uh, although it was a close game. Um, so I, uh, offered to rematch and friends list and all that stuff and kind of kicked it into gear and tried my hardest. We played about another three or four games afterwards and I won. Um, this is one of the games that I won at actually, uh, two stocked a minute. So I'm just going to go over some key things that's, uh, that helped me out through, uh, through, through these matches. Um, can't talk about every single move, like I said, unfortunately, but just some of these key things that'll help you when you play to look for as far as reading and punishing and whatnot, etc. a little tricky moves. So let's get to it. Um, my eight is level 87, I believe in this video. Um, she's my main, I play her all the time. Of course he's playing a random character, but he, uh, he's got one with skin, so he must play him at least some, sometime often.
three, two, one, brawl. At the beginning here, I do a psych out and then a dive in, dash, jump, nair. Most people don't expect that. That really helped me kind of get the weapon at the beginning as it does most. That neutral light right there really protects your ass more than you think. Right there, I did a unexpected down light because most people only do down lights after a follow up or as a follow up after another attack. So sometimes I'll just do a down light first because most people won't expect it. They'll jump straight into it. Um, <clears throat> there was another, you know, neutral light. A couple sigs. That gravity cancel down, down light will really, uh, really help you. It counts as a jump and an attack at the same time. Right there with the ground pound, you got to stay a little bit to the side of him. Ground pound doesn't secure right there. But the slide sig, most people don't expect that right there. Slide down sig. Um... Just trying to read each other here. A couple of down airs with the blasters just to protect my ass as I move around the map. A little bit of a pivot there. Thought maybe you were going to go above me. Pivots also help uh, make it hard for you to read. That was a cool little string I did there. I could have followed up, but I didn't want to get greedy. You don't always want to try to keep going and get greedy. If you can't keep reading, just back off and rethink. That was a lucky neutral sig there that I did. I, he didn't jump for a while, so I kind of just read the jump. Try to get him with ground pound. I punished with another ground pound. Right there, he was just outside the frame. That was a pretty good read on his part. Wasn't able to throw down the weapon there, unfortunately, to finish him off. Risky gravity cancel neutral sig. Try to secure... Oh, double ground pound. Very beautiful. Try it if you can. First ground pound almost Ooh, never works, so just get right out of it. Yeah, right there, I freak out. I, 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 th I thought I was about to three sock him. I get all excited there. But you gotta stay focused, okay? They, they could easily turn it around. Don't start taunting and getting cocky or anything like that. Stay focused until the end. Finish it up. Always edge guard, too. If they're on all the way red and you knock them off the stage, don't start partying. Stay by the edge and edge guard until the game is over. Right there, we're just trying to read each other, trying to get in a comfortable position on each other there. There was a new, another neutral light to start off into a dash nair. Those dash nairs are almost OP. <laughs> Okay, those yeah. nares usually protect me, but that was one Why of did those. That not work? Yeah, <laughs> I was pretty upset there. Um, one of the few cases where you're just right outside the frame, and it was just kind of unlucky. There's nothing really you could do about that. That was a lucky frame, on the other hand. As far as the gravity cancel uh, neutral sig, I was a little too slow with that nair there. Don't don't be too slow. You always want to drop down and attack. But, you know, I was trying to time it, but he dodged out of it. Slide sig, try to do another one. Nope. So, up. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Two stock to diamond, boys! <laughs> I was a little happy there. Oh, I feel good. This guy's really good. Okay, so. <clears throat> Woo! So, right there at the end, he was either tilted or he read that I was going to read him recovering and all that stuff. So, he just kind of gave up at the end. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just guessing. So, um, yeah, I would have just like down aired into throw a weapon into down air again after catching it or something like that. I'm sure I would have figured it out, but, uh, that's a rough idea of, of what I was looking at when playing that game there. Um, unfortunately can't explain everything like I said, but, um, thank you for watching any questions, comments, concerns. Um, I, I, you know, feel free to ask. I'll be happy, more than happy to go over anything either in the video or outside the video about any move or any advice or anything. Uh, so thank you again. And until then, uh, I'll see you next time. But wait, before I go, I got to do something. Some awesome effects. Woo! Give it up for the MVP. <laughs> yes. All right, thank y'all so much. I'll see y'all next time.